What is going on guys? We are back with another video today on Madden 21 and we're doing another realistic rebuild this time of the Denver Broncos and I'm doing a lot of hand gestures uh, for whatever reason but speaking of for whatever reason the Broncos don't want to stay healthy. That's just something for whatever reason this video is sponsored by the word forever and reasoned reason nice. They're just not looking great injury-wise. Sutton is out for quite a while. Drew Locke, is he out for quite a while? I think we'll just let him play it out. But oh, they're trying to figure out who should start. Joe Flacco hurt? What's the story? I don't even know, dude. But this is what the team looks like. We moved uh, Mutai over to left ta uh, left guard. I put Reisner at left tackle because you know he was another one of those do-it-all kind of players. Uh, and I feel like that's the biggest fit for him. And then we're going to we're gonna put Jawan James back at right tackle, I think. Uh, but as far as wide receivers go, Judy, number one. Hamler, number two. Patrick at number three. Uh, Melvin Gordon, of course, the starting running back with Locke at QB. And then defensively, I know that there was reports that Clay Matthews, they couldn't re reach a deal uh, with him. But we're going to make the deal. We're going to reach the deal. Clay Matthews brings his talents to Denver. You know, a very important signing because Von Miller, of course, out for this season. Uh, this team's in a bit of a spot. I think my controller is not responding. Nice. But I think the main focus of the draft has to be the defensive side. You know, you look at the offense, you got a young tight end with potential. You got three young wide receivers. I mean, a lot of people going into this year might have said top three wide receiver situation. Drew Locke, we'll see. We'll have to look at this one. And then running back. I think Philip Lindsay is going to get let go whenever he needs a contract. He just can't afford all, all these different running backs. Uh, and then as far as DBs go, uh, the age is definitely there outside of Simmons. I mean, you're not really looking super great youth-wise, but there's a decent couple of names there. And then defensive line, another really big issue. The front seven, in I mean, I guess the outside linebackers are fine, but outside of that, the defense is in a kind of a rough spot. Uh, after this first season, you know, Kareem's going to be rough. Bryce and Boye could be uh, rough. Is Boye 28, 29? 29, I mean, yeah, that's got to be the focus of the draft. Unless we get pick one because we're bad, it's probably going to be defense. Oh, uh, come on, Hamler. It could have been huge. Hey, we got Justin Simmons, who I feel like he already signed a contract, no? Alexander Johnson. Linebacker's not the easiest thing to find, especially for Denver. So, Johnson's going to get the three-year there. Tim Patrick, probably not going to get the three-year. Uh, Bowles, definitely not. He started in the league when he was 48 years old. You know, it's unfortunate, but here we are. A lot of a lot of names. Not a lot of guys I really care to keep, though, to be honest. All right, headed to the playoffs, but obviously we kind of could figure that Broncos wouldn't be headed to the playoffs. Don't get me wrong. There's some injuries here, but... Ooh, would they take Trevor? Would the Dolphins take Trevor? I think we could get a trade up, but that's going to cost a lot. Interesting. It's going to come down to how the uh, the stats play out, but as far as Drew Locke goes, I get there's some injuries, but there wasn't enough injuries for the offense to play poorly. So if the offense was bad or he was terrible, we'd maybe think about replacing him. Hmm... Last place in touchdowns, 17 interceptions. That's pretty bad. I like Drew Locke, though. Like, he has value, but entering his third year with another rough season, I just don't think that's going to be the... Like, I think if that that's the case in real life, I just don't think they would pass on a QB when they have a, a pretty legitimate chance to get one here. I think they trade up for pick one in this situation. I really do. But anyways, we know that we did not uh, make the playoffs. We did not make the Super Bowl. And honestly, we really didn't have a good season. I don't know. I don't remember looking at the defensive stats, but they couldn't have been memorable if, you know, we did look. Uh, looking at the uh, Super Bowl results, the Cowboys win over the Browns. We see the Browns all the damn time. Let's take a look at defense. We might have just skipped over because we were focused on offense. Uh, it kind of looks familiar. I don't know, dude. Did, uh, Matthews retire or... I think he retired. If he didn't, yikes, because, uh, he wasn't on the list there. Play did retire here. Looking at the re-signs, I mean, I'm not... 
Philip Lindsay was a decent signing if you wanted to re -go, you know, go for him, but I just don't think the money was there. Maybe we find one of these guys as a backup, but the, I mean, it's it's pretty pricey. All right, so the fair trade would have been pick 335, and then our third round, but because the game is, you know, the way it is, they didn't accept it. So we get pick one, and we have the trade Malik Reed. We will obviously also be giving them 67 for this pick, uh, which will be, well, let's get, like, do they not? Okay, I guess we'll take a six round off them next year, uh, which is pretty much a fair trade. I think it's a little bit in our favor, but we did give them Malik, so at the end of the day, it, you know, it's pretty close. I would imagine we're going to take Mr. Trevor Lawrence uh, as if this happens in real life where Drew Locke just does not show improvement, even though in real life right now, he's, he definitely wouldn't be replaced by Trevor, I don't think. Well, maybe. I don't know. Probably not replaced by Trevor if they had number one overall pick, but in this situation, 100%, the, uh, the realistic move would be to go for Trevor Lawrence. So we lose Darren Lee, which is a huge loss. I really wanted him on the team. But we do get Tay Davis. Uh, we get Gonzalez as a potential backup for McManus. <laughs> Jordan Tayamu is a backup quarterback. McKenzie, I believe, is back. I think he was actually drafted by this team. Darren Lee, unfortunately, we gave him a four-year, like, $18 million deal. Star development, you know, it is what it is. Jamal Williams joins the team. Very good uh, change of pace uh, power back. And then Holton Hill as a backup corner Maybe less in the blow for when we lose both of the corners that are starting. Uh, Bradley Chubb, I mean, if we're going to keep him, which we probably will, you might as well uh, just you know, keep him. Uh, what does it do, by the way, if you choose yes or no? If you choose yes, is there some special D? I don't understand. And also, why is Drew Locke not need a contract coming up? No? It doesn't need a contract next year. Uh, so he doesn't yet, but yeah, probably going to be looking to trade him off. Just saying. We also get Hall, Gillikin, Shaq, uh, Griffin, Shaquille, uh, Shaquem Griffin, uh, Anthony Brown, another corner, Kevin King, Dean Lowry, Jordan Thomas. I do not know how the Broncos get team uh, all these players to come here. It's, I almost never get these contracts. Lots of very quality backups. All right, headed to the draft that we absolutely decimated. Uh, we are obviously on the clock at pick one overall. Maybe you could even make the argument that, uh, that it would go for even more because, you know, the quarterback class is decently strong. Uh, but, of course, Trevor Lawrence is pick number one. You can't miss and you can't pass. Supposed to go three. Definitely would not have if we didn't take him. And I like the player model. Actually, pretty damn good. Uh, hidden development, 77 overall. Likely X-Factor. And just... As good as you can get, really. There's a very good chance that he probably is X-Factor next Madden as well. Micah Parsons at number two. I like it because Gardner looks pretty solid. And then at number three, the Dolphins, absolute winners. They get a superstar left tackle and pick 35 with whatever, 99 or something like that. Really good picks. Justin Fields goes to Washington, which means no more Haskins. And then the Lions finally get linebacker. The Giants are so mad at they decide to go corner. Still a win. Uh, left tackle. Makes sense for the Panthers. Tackle for the Steelers. You know, not getting young over there. Uh, Travis, interesting pick for the Jaguars. Really good pick there. It must be the Rams. I mean, I like all these picks. They look really realistic to me. All right. I mean, let's go to our next pick, I suppose. Not going to be a great draft outside of pick one overall, but maybe we can get some depth pieces. Maybe we snag a hidden. I don't know, you know, every single hidden in this class. And we probably never will which is cool. As far as what is on our board, we have a sixth round safety. I mean, he doesn't look you know, that good to where I should be taking him. Linebacker's kind of on the needs list. It's a little high, but I'm going to take him. Bryce Bacon, decently fast. He looks good. He looks pretty good. 65 overall normal. He's n he, doesn't, he doesn't look very good. <laughs> All right, draft board once again. Corner is high on the list for us, but is this guy the guy? I don't know. Uh, that's a safety, by the way. Uh, you know, that's the guy I meant to look at. Running back, definitely on the list. But, I mean, I just don't know if I like any of these picks. Really, you're just hoping one of these guys is hidden. Would one of them be hidden? I don't know. Uh, Jaden Simmons, script. Another 65 overall normal that may or may not actually play. Hey, if you're going to trade away the middle of the draft, you might as well also throw away the middle of the draft with some bad picks. Uh, the other running back is gone. Yeah, we got Jamal, actually. Let's go Will Sprinkle. Please sprinkle some hidden devs. Another 65 overall normal. Woo! Love it. 
bad jumping, bad catching, and a bad waste of our money. Love it. And, I mean, you might as well just take a fullback. Maybe he'll be hidden. 70 overall, best overall outside of Trevor. So, uh, a bit of a yikes. We could have, in fairness, we could have uh, traded Drew Locke for, like, a second-round pick, probably. But I maybe forgot, okay? Let's take a look at the draft recap. Once again, I might have said recrap, by the way. Once again, uh, at least Superstar, maybe even X-Factor. I can't remember. X-Factor? X-Factor it is. Number 12? I kind of like that for the pro level, right? Mathematically, historically, putting your quarterback at the number 12, not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Just saying. Once he starts getting a lot of injuries and concussions, then you change it. Change it to something else. Von Miller took a hard regression, unfortunately, uh, just due to his age. Nothing to do with his actual, you know, being able to play or anything like that. We got to get this window widened a little bit. Uh, we have a lot of expensive players, but honestly, a lot of guys we can't really get rid of. So, uh, unless there's a big signing outside of Chubb, which I don't know if there is. We might have to just take the cap hit this year and then... It'll be like it'll be like when you store up a crap from eating food for like a day or two, and then you just unleash it the next day. You're gonna feel so free. That's what this cap situation is gonna be like. It's gonna feel so free after the year. We're gonna save like 40 mil, and we're also gonna drop to the depths of hell in overall. It's gonna be a very interesting time for us. I'll put it that way. But hey, at least the wide receiver position's good. Oh, we get to sign Sutton. Hmm. Maybe we don't have the uh, the capital. One, what's in your wallet? If you think we're about to ruin the team and have a bad rebuild, leave a like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Jerome P. Care. We'll have a stream tonight on twitch.tv slash Jerome P. Care. What will it be? I haven't a clue. So we're going to get rid of Nick Vanett or Vanette. Vanette. Van. Vanette. It's Vanette. Vanetti. I don't care, dude. O-line's not bad. You got two really solid left side players. Center's decent. Right guard's all right. Right tackle's all right. They're just old. We have no defensive tackle, huh? Okay, that's probably not a good idea. PJ Hall, welcome to the defensive tackle spot. Real question is, who are we going to play at middle linebacker? Because we drafted a guy, but I don't, you know, you know. Jewel, maybe, I guess. I haven't done it. <laughs> wow, that was really funny. Shaquem, not a bad little, you know, backup who can move around a little bit if he has to. But we can get rid of Sam Martin, who's not much better than the guy we signed. So, I mean, we're saving a little bit there. I, once again, I got to see the salary. We have to save at least, we have about 25 to 30 mil cap, and we have exactly 30. Oh my. We have got some re-signings to take care of. So Jackson will be let go. Melvin might be let go. Uh, Casey will probably be let go after this season. Boye will be let go. Callahan will be let go. And the team is in ruins. Love it. Could be worse. But not by much. Why didn't the Jaguars take quarterback if they're going to put Minshew on the block? We need linebacker help, and we're going to take Burke Irvin off of the Seattle Seahawks for a fourth-round pick. So they do get an upgrade there. I, took, I believe they took him in the late fifth. They're getting a potential high fourth. So, you know, it's a little bit of a loss for us, but a huge gain in the fact that he is very young and uh, has lots of time to develop. So definitely a, a risk. Oh, look, Simmons. Jay Simmons on both friends, brothers. Enemies? Who knows? We have found a home for Drew Locke. I am sorry, Drew. And maybe it was something to do with the injury to you, injury to some of the other players, but just not going to work out here. We trade Drew Locke in a fifth round pick to the Steelers for a second round pick. Now they have a quarterback because Big Ben is gone. I don't know if they dropped his development and he retires earlier. What's the story? But he's literally gone. I don't even care. I take a little bit of cap penalty uh, for getting rid of Sprinkle. I just, I don't care. <laughs> it's whatever, dude. We're going all in on the offense this year. It's the smartest move. Nice. The Bears are 32nd in pass and rush yards, leaving them the 80th ranked offense. Wow, that's crazy. Well, the real uh, real question here is where is Ben Burke Irving going to rank overall wise once we actually move in the middle? I kind of like number 50 on him. I don't know who has 55. Chubb, probably. Yep, Chubb. 69 overall, but still lots of potential and probably the new number two. All right, Trevor Lawrence is at the helm, and hopefully this team can get the job done. You know, the, the running back position set for the year. The wide receivers are set for the whole rebuild. Same with tight end. The left side of the line's looking good. Center, 
Hopefully he can be our guy and we'll look to replace the right side through free agency of the draft in the upcoming years. But I mean, right now this is Trevor Lawrence should have one hell of a rookie campaign, maybe even the greatest of all time. Looking at linebacker Johnson, signed him to a three-year deal. We hope he can get the superstar this year. Burke Irvin, number two guy. Hopefully he can become the number one soon enough. Safeties, uh, of course, strong safety need to replace, but Green, you know, pretty decent look. I mean, I thought he was going to regress a little harder than that, so definitely could have been a lot worse. A lot of young backup cornerbacks, but do any of them have the potential to be number ones? I do not know. Uh, Jarrell Casey needs to be replaced. Dean Lowry and Hall are kind of just bandage positions, but definitely looking to replace them as well. So defense needs the majority of the work, where offense, you really just look at the right tackle and right guard, uh, maybe running back and everything else is just perfectly fine about damn time near kj hammer got a star development trait upgrade twenty thousand. okay yeah this man uh is gonna have quite a few upgrades i imagine hello sir five of them okay yeah that's pretty good all right so we have some re-signings von miller is a tricky one because i don't even know if he's gonna be here in three years that first regression was brutal uh, Corlin's, oh, look at the money flying now. Now who wants, oh, now you're interested in a second date. Okay, Cortland, give him a five-year deal worth, I don't know what it was. I already forgot it because I'm an old man. Pass rushers need to chill. They are asking for way too much damn money these days. But Chubb is just that guy. Hopefully he can play like that guy for us. You like to make, mo how much money do you need? Okay, dude, uh, as far as who we need to re-sign, uh, Chubb, maybe Vaughn. I don't know what we're going to do with Vaughn, honestly. Hey, we get Bradley Chubb re-signed. It only costed us like $100 million. <laughs> Just what, a, a small portion of our cap, right? Go to the playoffs. Are we in them? We are. We lose our last game. The Chiefs took the division. Obviously, we weren't going to get a bye week anyways, but Trevor Lawrence... You know, the yards are a lot higher than Drew. The touchdowns are quite a bit higher, but the picks are still there. So, once again, rookie year. What can you ask for? I mean, this is, once again, I don't know if this would rank as the most yards in a rookie career ever. Or rookie career. In a rookie uh, debut season ever, but it's got to be very close. Touchdowns are pretty high, too. And, hell, the, uh, the, the running backs took a lot of touchdowns. So, at the end of the day, Lawrence had a really good season. And then looking at the receivers, three of them. Over a thousand yards, Fant. Please just go to superstar, dude. Cortland Sutton, Judy, maybe X Factor. I don't really know. Uh, looking at the blocking, pretty damn solid blocking considering we know how Mountain Sim is. Von Miller crushed it with eleven and a half. Uh, Chubb, you know, glad we paid you all that money, buddy. And that's about it. McManus with a twelve for a twelve season, the perfect season, as some would call it. Let's take a look at uh, what kind of awards would have been won. I would assume Trevor locked up Rookie of the Year. Baker Mayfield wins Player of the Year, MVP. Uh, Lawrence with Rookie of the Year. Quarterback of the Year, where was he? Number six. I'll take number six. That's not bad. Sounds like I'm ordering at like a fast food place. And then, of course, McMahon is best quarterback. Uh, quarterback kicker. As far as Drew Locke goes, he go, you know, as far as his season goes, he went to the Steelers. 3,659 yards, 23 touchdowns, 14 picks. I'm not mad that we traded him. <laughs> you know, I'm not mad that we traded everything we pretty much had to to get Lawrence. It's crazy to think, though, like, outside of maybe the top five, top ten, it is very hard to get pick one overall. So, kind of glad we did have that bad season because Trevor will shift this team in the right direction, hopefully. I mean, I'd say it's a pretty damn good start as we're in the playoffs here. Going against... The Baltimore Ravens, though, so how long will this playoff run last? Maybe just this game. There goes the snow game. This is a sick matchup. That'd be so cool to be in the snow game. It'd be very interesting what uh, Lamar Jackson could get up to while running, because, of course, it's going to be a little weirder with snow. Definitely want to see that in action. Going to the end of the game, uh, Trevor Lawrence's first you know, season, also his first playoff game. So how will he handle it so far? Handling it pretty well against the Baltimore Ravens. The Ravens just don't seem like they're built for the big stage. As you can see here, I mean, I'm barring any crazy miracle. It looks like Trevor Lawrence and the Broncos absolutely smashed the Ravens. 45 points 
on the Ravens. Trevor Lawrence outperformed Lamar cover athlete Jackson in a shocking manner. That is crazy news. I mean, same rushing touchdowns for both teams, except Trevor had three more passing touchdowns. I mean, what can you really ask for? This is the perfect performance. It really is just a really good job by the offense. And then, of course, the defense, you know, they've had their stops as well and really only gave up scores when it didn't really matter as much. Headed to the divisional round now, probably going against someone like the Browns or something. The Patriots. Okay, that's very interesting. They're an 85. We're an 86 overall. I will say that first free agency class was kind of weak, so I don't know if some of the updates to the rosters changed a little bit for re-signings, but looking at this matchup, uh, Gillette Stadium's a great, uh, cool place. And it's pretty, pretty interesting that there's no snow here. I would have thought maybe would have been a back-to-back -back snow game, but no, it's, you know, weather's pretty damn tame. Starting out strong, the Patriots put up three touchdowns. What the hell? That is the fastest scoring I have ever seen in the history of Madden. 28 points in one quarter. I mean, Trevor Lawrence and company, they're trying. And they're, I mean, they're doing a pretty decent job of it. I don't think you go for that field goal, but hey, that's not my call, I guess. They're doing a decent job of it considering, but what the hell just happened? 28 points in the first quarter. How? Kim, how? I don't know, but Trevor Lawrence, he, he crapped the bed a little bit. He's, you know, started seeing, you know, the, the Super Bowl in his eyes and, you know, got a little too crazy. Leonard Fournette joins the Patriots and absolutely dominates us, which I don't see happening. But I suppose, you know, this defensive line is a little iffy, a little bit, you know, a little iffy. Kind of the, the outcast crew outside of Jarrell. Well, it's going to be an outcast when we let him go after this season, most likely. And look, little Jordan Humphrey's back. I stop, please. You are slow. Let's take a look at the Pro Bowl roster. We usually don't take a look often. Uh, pretty interesting names for the NFC side. You got Dak Prescott as the starting QB. Interesting stuff. As far as our side goes, you got Jerry Judy, and that kind of appears to be it. Maybe Vaughn would have been there. Vaughn Miller, Boye. Okay, I mean, we got a couple of names there. It's not, yeah, not the worst thing in the world. But a very interesting New York Giants versus Miami Dolphins Super Bowl. Okay. okay. Uh, the Giants win over the Dolphins. I'm going to say that our trade down to them is what kind of got them there. I'm just going to take the credit. I don't really care. The losing part was on them, though. Trevor Lawrence, of course, an X-Factor. Receivers, no dev ups on offense, unfortunately. Looking at the defensive side of things... I would have thought maybe Johnson would have had a chance, uh, but it appears nobody got a dev up. Of course, Kareem Jackson, his star dev up was the year before. And as of right now, uh, I'm trying to think of anyone that's worthy of being stay, you know, staying on this team. Uh, Drell Casey probably isn't one of them, honestly. 80 overall, about 13, 14 mil. That's a little high for me. Vaughn, I think, is a tag situation. He's a 92, so dropped hard, uh, but then kind of chilled a little bit, which I like to see. Callahan, not asking for a lot, but I think we have the players in place already. I really now nah, we'll re-sign Callahan. We'll re-sign him. Five-year deal. Let's get him to five. Which he'll probably still decline. Nice. Glad to waste time re-signing you, pal. But yeah, Vaughn's gonna likely get the tag situation. If we can do like a maybe a two-year 42 instead. Appreciate the offer. Gonna test free agency. About 22 mil, so. You know, pretty much a fair contract offer by us. I think we're going to let everyone else go here, though. And then we're probably going to be releasing some more on top of it. But a ton of cap room to sign new, younger, and hopefully better players. Hell, Jawan James could be on the list. He definitely could be. Save 13 mil. Obviously, that's, you know, we're not going to release anyone yet because we have to first get their replacements. But, yeah, definitely a lot of potential to to improve the team this season. You know, we're not locked into every position like we were before. Now we're, you know, we got a couple of choices. Johnny Alexander would love to sign him. Huge need for us, but unfortunately, it's just not going to happen because, of course, I just don't see the Packers letting him go. Like, I, it's just not going to happen. J.J. Watt might offer him a deal. I think we're going to offer McGlinchy a deal, probably a four-year deal. Harrison Smith is always a fun one. Where the hell is Simmons? Oh, it's strong safety. Okay. 
I thought it said uh, free. I, I don't know. Okay. Harold Landry, great to see him there. <laughs> Baker wins MVP and gets released. Um, unlucky, man. Bruh. I the fan eyes is getting hot in here, but I do not get Ronnie Harrison. I offered him a five-year, $32 million deal, which was worth 110 points. The next team was like 97, and he declines. But we get Harrison Smith, so another old guy that will retire on us when we're not expecting him to rather shortly. But it's a two-year deal worth about 12, so it's not bad. Jabal Agnew, uh, a nice backup wide receiver, but mainly a kick returner, and then McGlinchey. I mean, we're pay basically paying him for four, maybe five years, the same price as Jawan. So uh, definitely a bit of a win there. And Jawan is still a pretty good player. So uh, we probably will trade him off for like a fifth or a sixth round pick. And uh, that's kind of big because, of course, we actually have our own draft picks for once. Unfortunately, uh, 25, 10, 25, 25. So the Steelers didn't really do too well with, uh, with Drew Locke, which was a little strange, but works out for us <laughs> I'll t I mean I'll take it we trade Jawan James a sixth and a seventh round pick for a late fourth round pick from the Bears who had a 72 overall Bobby Massey at right tackle Dean Lowry went to star development I mean it's not really a huge thing but I mean it's better than him not going to star right got him so we ended up getting a new running back carry on Johnson a five-year 24 million dollar deal Alan Lazard, another backup. Linval Joseph might actually play starting DT. And then Davenport makes things interesting. A pass rusher might be the starting outside linebacker once Vaughn is gone. As far as fifth-year options go, I do want Noah Fant long-term, but I do not want to give him a fifth-year option right now. Uh, this could be the best team we've ever built. Uh, J.J. Watt's a two-year 20. Jair is a five-year 79, I believe. And then with Samuels just being kind of a backup deal. J.J. Watt almost never signs with me. I don't know what kind of like drugs, voodoo nonsense the, the Broncos pull. But they get everyone. Which of course will lead us to releasing Jarrell Casey. He doesn't really have that kind of value like uh, Jawan James would. Lots of uh, you know older defensive linemen kind of you know playing all around near the end of their career 99 give it to me so as far as our pick goes i mean, think we have a cornerback he's like a mid to late second so if he's there around 16 or 17 i think we're gonna make the trade up uh the saints a lot of teams behind the the chargers here could probably use a corner hell even the chargers might need a corner but let's make the trade we trade 25 89 and agum for uh pick 16 maybe should have added a uh a fourth round but yeah, we'll give him a fifth round pick. A fifth round for a next year seventh. That's a fair trade across the board. All right, pick six. Well, at least according to this website. Pick 16, I believe, will be going to this cornerback. Uh, we also did have a running back, Von Trees Dudley, but I didn't know if we were going to get carry on. So we got our carry on. You know, we didn't have to pay you know extra fees or anything like that. Uh, got on our flight and everything. Bradley Miles. Late, oh, he's a late first. Maybe we reached a little bit. But he's 23, which is a little older than we would normally draft a guy at. But... Solid enough combine. Top skills are decent. Mid-first talent projection. We're going to go for him. And we absolutely stole a player here. Even if he is star, which he likely is, hiddens are very hard to find. And this guy is a very good one at that. That is a solid pick. Number two corner right out the gate. Now for our next pick, how many linemen do we need? I think we need like a right guard outside of that. We're fine. Do we take that running back anyways? Uh, Tory Pryor, I mean, he is pretty solid. He's the only lineman we have on the list, but we have a pretty solid line the way it is. So if he's gone at 10, fair enough. Oh, he was a 76 overall and he went right before our pick. You've got to be joking. We have a wide receiver, but do we really, I should have traded up. There's like nothing else we really need. Mitch will burn. Well, Jesus, what the hell did Mitch do to this guy? Mid first, uh, early first talent. Might take him in the late second. I think we're going to trade this pick down. Damn, we should have went for Lane or whoever the guy's name is. Hopefully he's bad, but he won't be. That's a really good pick from the Seattle Seahawks. Although the Falcons, oh, that's only a third next year. That's terrible. Yeah, screw it. Seattle gives us a really good trade. That's amazing. And it's because they had a center, David Ray. Okay, I mean, good play for them. Good, good move. They weren't risking anything. I think that running back's going to be gone. 
Mitch Wilburn is still there. Do we take him? I mean, do we really even need a running back? He looks good. I'm going to take him anyways. And he is 77 overall, normal development, but obviously ridiculous. Number 48, yikes. Yikes number. Oh, is that pick by the Seahawks a, a next year second round? Wait, do we have the Seahawks pick next year? Because that's even better than I thought it was. Oh, they're both. I will take that. A second, third, and fifth next year for pick 10 in the second round? That is totally fine with me. I say we go to like mid-fourth and then make some trade-ups if there's players there. Give the Eagles 90, uh, 90, 123, 189, and 191 for 97. And then if we want to trade up again, which we might, we'll probably have to trade like our third round next year. Uh, as far as need, DT's up there. Middle linebacker's kind of up there too. This guy looks way, he looks better than the other guy. And he, I mean, I don't know if he is, but he probably is because he's freaking hidden. This is a very good class. Look at the Excel. Oh my, catching's garbage, but that is a very good pick. Once again, I don't know if he's even going to start, but I will take that trade in a, you know, any day of the week. Let's move to like eight or nine. DT's still there with trade up. I am happy with this draft class. This draft class is amazing. Was Brown the guy we had? I don't even know. No, it's Josh Browning. Ah, they got us, you tricksters. The Bengals screwed us before, so they're probably on their way to screw us again, so we better take a pick off of them. Maybe this is actually how they screw us. Whatever, give them 94 for 105. They want more. Nice. Imagine if we did that to every team. No one would ever trade down. They want these extras. They still want more. Thank you. Jeez. Absolute win for the freaking uh, Bengals. Now I don't feel good about this DT because, like I said, they're going to screw us, and this is how they do it. Josh Browning, be good, please. Okay, they didn't screw us. This is a good pick. 73 overall, super strong. Yeah, that was a good draft pick. It was worth it. No hit in, but, you know. We already got way more hidden than we expected. Well, we got Bradley Miles, who is, uh, of course, hidden development. Take a look at what he is. Probably star, like we said before, and he is not. He is one of our best draft picks we've had in rebuilds this season. Uh, and not in any ways. Not even like this Broncos season. Like, just like in general. Uh, Tim Bigham, probably going to be a starting middle linebacker. Uh, excuse me. I kind of wish that middle linebacker was actually a DT, but actually, no, I, I'm glad that we got Bingham because uh, Johnson's actually kind of on the older side. Okay, so uh, the Burke Curvin move is interesting now. I don't think we really need him anymore. Okay, this team's kind of stacked. This could be the year. We trade uh, Burke Curvin over to the Chiefs for a fifth-round pick, a huge steal for them. We took a little bit of a loss on it, but it is what it is. All right, season three, uh, the most likely season to be able to pull off a Super Bowl victory as Lawrence is, uh, you know, he's actually set in stone now as a solid player. Uh, looking at the wide receivers, obviously the best tandem in the league with Fant as a pretty solid helper. Uh, carry on Johnson, you know, pretty much on par with the previous running backs, but with more potential. Looking at the offensive line, way better with the right tackle position. And then the rest of the line is obviously getting better with age outside of the right guard. Uh, strong safety, best we've had. Uh, besides, you know, Kareem on his first year. J.J. Watt, best d lineman we've had. Uh, corners, way better than anything we've had uh, in years. Bingham, good development to a 75-76 overall linebacker. So the defense is vastly improved, of course, after this season. Vaughn's going to drop hard. Smith going to drop hard, Watt probably going to drop hard, so definitely not going to last forever, but it's pretty solid looking. You can't deny it. So we have those re-signings. Noah Fan's going to get the long-term deal, obviously. Six-year deal worth about 45, totally worth it. Dalton Reisner, three-year 40 is a little high for my liking, but we're still going to go for it. Uh, and just, we just got to sign Vaughn, is that it? Might be another tag situation, honestly. I gave him a two-year deal worth 45, and he didn't take it. Nice. We're ahead to the playoffs. I haven't seen how the team is doing since mid-season, so they could be either way. And they went the right way. Of course, the Chiefs take the division, but uh, we were like 4-3 and three at the mid-season point, so we won a lot of games. Yeah, we won all the games except for the Jaguars, which is very strange. Of course, unfortunately, it wouldn't have mattered anyways. The Chiefs just dominated the season. 14 and did this whole damn division did well 
And oh my, Trevor Lawrence with a near 5,050 yard t uh, season. Ridiculous. 11 picks. Kerryon Johnson was solid. I mean, this is one of the best seasons I've ever seen in a Madden Sim for offense. O line was really, that might be the best offensive season I've ever seen. Uh, sack totals. Watt does really well. Vaughn does pretty decently. Chubb finally shows up. Watt was the biggest signing of the offseason, it seems, so far. Uh, Miles, five picks, 95 tackles. Maybe be an X-Factor alongside Jair. This is a very good team. And if we didn't make it happen this year, I would be surprised. If not this year, I mean, maybe next year. And outside of that, I mean kind of end the rebuild because you can't really get much better than that really looking at their team 88 overall we're a 90 overall of course the Patriots caused this problems last uh playoff season so definitely a little weary of uh what they can do to us again going to the end of the game we have a seven to nothing lead so far for the Patriots we get another touchdown but we don't kick the extra point through great love McManus I always want to call him McMahon ass because it just it just looks interesting do we miss two extra points this game? Please, can we can we not do that? Down by five. Offense does not have the ball right now. Forcing a punt. A huge touchdown to Cortland Sutton. Up by three. Come on, defense. Come on, defense. Three minutes. Offense holds and we win the game. And they do. Losing pretty much the entire game. Maybe even the entire game until the fourth quarter. And we hold on. With the victory, Trevor Lawrence crushed it. Cam is still a Patriot, a little surprising there. Trevor Lawrence absolutely crushed it. Rushing wasn't great for either team, but we did have two touchdowns with carry on. Judy was insane because I don't even think he was the one with the long touchdown. He wasn't. 70-yarder for Sutton, 193 with a touchdown for Judy, and he had the longest, was 23, so he was just gashing, dudes. Got to imagine it was Gilmore on Sutton, and Jerry Judy just went ham. How do you actually stop this team? If we lose this, it'd be shocking. We definitely don't deserve to lose. This team's ridiculous. And here it is. The matchup we've been scared of the most. The Chiefs, who are a lower overall than us, actually. 89 overall for them, 90 for us. Maybe it is our year. Who knows? The Browns continue moving on. So it's one of these two teams versus the Browns. All right, here we go. Starting off strong. With a huge run, probably carry on Johnson. Could be the rookie, uh, Wilburn. <laughs> I wonder if he got his revenge or not. Uh, we're down by three now. This is a very close shootout of a matchup. Defense is doing its job, but at the end of the day, offense has got to stop having these long drives that go for nothing. You're just helping them out. When you go for a long drive and you don't get a touchdown or anything, you're just helping the other team that's winning already. Offense, come on. So 50-50 this game. Looking strong. Up four. Please, defense. Do we stop them? We win the game 35-31. to 31. This has got to be one of the best fourth quarter teams in the league. Lawrence crushed it. Outperformed Patrick Mahomes. Not an easy feat. Kerryon Johnson, iffy game because, of course, he had the huge 75-yarder, which is amazing, and I'll take it, but that means, you know, he was seven for, like, 20 afterwards. Really just did not have a great ground game in general. Sutton was good. Wilburn with a couple of receiving touchdowns. Nice. Uh, J.J. Watt has been, I mean, he's on a mission. He's He is on a mission to win a Super Bowl, and he might pull it off. Headed to the conference championship. I'll show you guys who didn't cheat or anything like that, just in case I forget, which I will if we win the Super Bowl. I just always do. Uh, uh, there's that. So here we go. Going against the Cleveland Browns. 89 for them, 90 for us. And it's a snow game. This is uh, this is a fun one. This is a uh, fun atmosphere. Oh, this is perfect. I can't even remember the amount of times I would play like football with my friends in this kind of situation where it's weathery, like snowy like this. And it's like about maybe 5 o'clock, 5.30. It's hard to tell because, you know, once it's the winter months, then the uh, the darkness comes a little early. But you know what I mean, like an hour before it, it's dark out. And right now, uh, we're putting on a show. We want this Super Bowl title, 34-16. to Ooh, Cleveland wants it really badly too, though, but not bad enough as we hold on for the AFC Championship title. Colin Kaepernick, the quarterback for the Browns. What a game between these two. Lawrence, ultimately, though, I mean, he put up this postseason. He's on par for about half 
of a normal team's, a normal quarterback's full regular season. He's absolutely crushing it right now. And the title could have something really crazy reflected in that. It, like, it could be something about Hall of Fame already. Because it's it's ridiculous. And look who it is. Vaughn Miller. The irony. But here we are. We're going to see any dev ups. Maybe Sutton. Of course, can't get any higher than what uh, Trevor Lawrence has. So, there's that. And the Packers versus Broncos. A little bit of a Super Bowl rematch here. Please, Denver, do the thing. <laughs> Uh, no dev up for Sutton. A little strange there. Fant, no dev up again. Uh, Johnson gets to superstar, which I suppose is pretty damn clutch. I mean, it helps. And, I mean, that's pretty much it. No real dev ups outside of just Johnson. But, hey, that's all we need. This is a mega success. The question is, will we turn it into a Super Bowl rebuild find out right now the green bay eight and eight packers who are literally on their last legs you would imagine after the hell they probably don't even deserve to be there this season at eight and eight but after this season it's a gg for that roster for some time all right here it is going to the end of the game the packers score a touchdown we also score a touchdown back what happened there well uh, uh, hello why is this happening offense please Score offense. Thank you. 14 to 21, 14 to 23. We give up a safety. What is wrong with this team right now? How is Green Bay going to stop anyone without John Alexander? That's just not just going to is not going to happen. And with 8 minutes left, Trevor Lawrence has a chance. Up 5 now. 3rd and 9. Whose ball is it? Ours. And he mi Brandon, are you actually on crack? Okay, I'm coming in. I hate this game. The classic four verticals. And the classic super bait. But it did not work. They dropped back. I don't know who that is. McBride. And it actually almost worked. What a call. He's just not very fast. So he couldn't get over in time. All right, Trevor Lawrence. Are you guys for real? What are they going to do? Are they don't tell me they're going for a field goal. Very tough to stop. I mean, because you can't really bring the blitz here. If you do, you're going to get torched. Come on, Jerry Judy. Come on, Jerry Judy. I don't know who that corner is, but he has no business trying to cover Jerry Judy. Oh, no. We're really close. I wonder what happens. Are you... They better be kicking the field goal here, right? Timeout's called. McManus is going to lose the game. He will not. The Denver Broncos win the Super Bowl 31-29. We've actually had a lot of successful rebuilds lately. This thing could have went completely different, and I think it would have. If uh, Drew Locke would have had even an average season, he would have taken this team to 7-9, and nine, had maybe 27, 28 touchdowns, maybe 4,000 yards. We wouldn't have been able to get rid of him. But, of course, the season he had, uh, just about entering you know his final starting season, pretty much, there's no way the team would have passed up on a quarterback in the top three. We trade up. We go for Lawrence. Lawrence absolutely, I mean, he crushed it he wasn't just a high overall high dev guy he was insane this last season might have been the greatest season in nfl history I, I don't understand how he was able to put up as many yards as he was but of course the denver broncos on top of the football world again for the many manyth time i don't know if that's really even a word but yeah, they're uh, they're having a decent decently good spacing you know pretty damn good franchise especially as of late and well, huge, huge uh, bright future with this squad. You keep that offense intact, I don't know how you stop them. I really don't. This is literally what's going to happen in real life with the Chiefs. like this. But even maybe this is better because Kelsey is kind of on the older side. But absolutely nuts. Really good job. Uh, carry on Johnson was kind of iffy, but you know, he got good enough yards per carry. Two touchdowns. Uh, we just need more touchdowns. And thankfully, in the end, we just got enough. J.J. Watt. I mean, he actually carried this defense. McManus, are you serious? Three missed field goals. That's more field goals missed in this game than the whole season the previous year combined. Maybe the last two seasons. I don't see that happening. I get it's a clutch game, but really? I, that's, that's hard for me to believe. Of course, let's take a look. At the game, show you guys we didn't force any wins or play multiple times, whatever. 
crazy stuff you might have thought we would have done. But that is going to be the rebuild of the Denver Broncos. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you have a suggestion for a rebuild challenge, once again, I know we're going to get to the trade block rebuild probably <laughs> at some point. I mean, it's already been so long into this mountain season. Maybe we don't. Hope you guys enjoy tomorrow's game for the Broncos versus the Jets. I was going to do a Jets rebuild, and I was like, oh, we already did a Jets rebuild. That's strange. But yeah, let me know if you guys want more rebuilds with the real-life upcoming NFL draft, or you want more randomized ones. I've been tending to choose the real-life draft class for the teams that may go QB in the future, whereas if it's not, I'm just going to go generate it. So if we do a Chiefs rebuild, which they definitely don't really need one, but... We'll do it anyways, just to see what we can get out of it. Maybe we get three straight Super Bowls. We'll do an uh, automatic draft, you know, uh, a generated CPU draft. Because there's no, you know, they're not going to go QB and whatnot. So, anyways, thanks for watching. If you did like, maybe leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Twitter, Jerome P. Care. And like I said, later today we'll be doing some sort of stream on Twitch.tv slash Jerome P. Care. Also, the second channel. We've been uploading at least once every four-ish days. Been trying to do uploads there while playing... Uh, uploading a ton of Madden and streaming on Twitch. So it's been a challenge, but I am doing all right, I feel. Regardless, thanks for watching. Hopefully you come back for next video. But until next video, see ya!